just with fail. And, well, attempt two, because um, I did do this session. Four zero minutes of my life waited. Wasted. 40 minutes. Because the app I used, apparently you have to get this stupid pro thing. So that's getting a one star from me. It's called um, Record It. So if you have that app, uh, just let you know. Don't go over half an hour. But we're not here to do a stupid app review on a screwed recorded thing. We're here to play with the flirt. The newest locomotive. No, it's not. Because there's a route that just dropped down a day ago. As of recording. Uh, it's one of the newest locomotives. It's been out for like a few weeks. Um, well, we don't really need to save that, do we? So we'll do... I'll do it in parts. So it'll be about 20 minutes doing this. Anyway. Good morning, your task today. From Lofel to Armandale, passing through. Pause to read this if you want. I think you have enough time to read that. First, we're going to go realistic mode. This thing looks good. Oh, no. No. They did. Oh, that's a cool feature. That's a cool feature. That's a cool feature. That's a cool feature. I'm not going to stop saying that's a cool feature because that's a cool feature. Oh, I've definitely played with this locomotive. So, let's put the reverser in forward. That is the cool thing they've done. And I quite like doing separate throttle and brake. It's just easier. But because this isn't that, they've given you the controls, though, and they've made it look as if it's that. Anyway, let's listen to the horn. Thing is a beauty. It does have a pantograph like the real thing. But we're not on electric today. Actually, let's get some pantograph action. Why not? Where's the pantograph? Where's the pantograph? Just want to come up apparently. There we go. The animation looks pretty damn cool. It's also that weird um, noise that you just heard horn. I don't know what that is. Um, we want to go this way, so follow me, that'd be great. Let's actually listen to the it revving up. Yeah, it accelerates a little bit fast. Um by fast, I mean quite fast. Inaccurate? I don't know, because I've never actually been on a flirt. Let's hop into the cab here. We passed the 60, so... I'm just going to put a puppet in two. No, we're not. Oh, no, yeah. Let's put it in three. After five, it just stops, which I guess is realistic. Anyway, 
Okay, as we are off on our journey. Oh, and so I know. I've done the session before. We can get some cinematic passing shots with a log train. And this is what I love about that. It actually glows. It's pretty cool. All by a Freightliner 70 for some reason. Oh, we've got, let's pretend to be these train spots here. Hello, I'm in your crowd now. Let's hide our timetable then. Okay, this is much better. Come back! So we're doing about 60 miles an hour. This is a good angle. Carry on from here. Where is the horn on this thing, actually? Um, it would be that, wouldn't it? That other thing there. We're going to slow down for this 40? Oh, no, no. Here we are. Oh! 68 there. Some log wagons over there on the right. Ready to be chopped up. Probably put our lights on. And are our lights on now? Yeah. Yeah, our lights are on now. All right. So let's try speedometer rise. What time are we supposed to be there? High crowds. Ooh, we are... Um, we are very close to being late. Okay, we're gonna actually speed up a little bit here, guys. Okay. I did not realise we were this be behind schedule. Okay, so... Jim, some more. I'm gonna start slowing down now. We might not be getting any points, but that is okay. We're just doing a review for the 755 and the beautiful, well, Rosalind Vale. It's the same as the Trins 2 one, though this it wasn't in Trins 2. More braking, please. Yeah, that's good. 30. Come on. Alright, we're at 30 miles an hour. We're nearly there. Don't tell me that train's going to pull forward. I have an idea. No! 
Shut up, you fat bitch. Uh, I mean, what? <clears throat> Was that? I did not say that. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to... All right, we're leaving then. Where are we supposed to be? Hi, Crags. All right. Um, I don't know if I should go or stay. The feeling if I go is going to... Nope. No, it's not. It's not going to yell at me. All right. We're going then. Arthington. What kind of name is that? Like, come on, Arthington. Sounds like a person. Arthington. No. Just love that horn and how accurate it is. As you start accelerating again, we can bring the throttle down. The reverse and neutral, so we stop accelerating. You're going, going down a tiny grid. There's another locomotive up there. Give him a little toot toot. It's a 70. Hopefully the whole train's gone over. Yeah, we have. We're going to start picking up some speed now. I want to get a cool passing shot, actually. So let's go out here. To... Into this cinematic mode, I guess. Oh. By the bridge. By the bridge. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm speeding. Wait, does it not care if I'm speeding? That was a pretty cool passing shot, but I may have fudged it up a little bit by trying to get the high tone as well. But actually, we don't need to accelerate because we're nearly there. We've got like three minutes. But another session I do want to do is the Mallard session, which is back in Scottish Highlands. I think that is what I'll do next. It's 25 straight after. This locomotive, though, it is beautiful. That horn, just so accurate. Well, we're early this time, so I better get bonus points. <sighs> no bounce, but like, okay, that was pretty damn good. Right, it says I can't leave until 23. So we've got about a minute. I want to get a nice passing shot of that 68 we just saw. Note 70 even. It's coming. 
Oh, this is a 70. Yep, it's a 70. That was good. Now let's go to drivers actually, because. I'm supposed to leave now. Let's get a nice um, shot of us just leaving. Okay, this is a more accurate speed to be leaving at. Also soon I will be doing some more cursed stuff with the um, flirt. There's a sign going on. Oh, it's, um... Let's go. Let's zoom across this bridge at about 55. Yeah. Still kept the old bridge, though. It's something I love. Oh, it's another flirt. With its pantograph up. I don't know why they do that. Oh, bridge. 60. F quite fast acceleration, which is quite fun. But I've got to show you a locomotive that has incredibly fast acceleration. If we have time, I'll show you at the end. But I think we will. Just love the sh sun shining. Across the wiper, which it just looks so cool, giving it some depth. Oh, I can get a nice passing shot. I'm gonna do before though. A nice place, just on this valley. Just looks quite cool. It's a floating twig, but we don't talk about that. In the morning as well. There we go. Just cruising along. Oh, that is one great thumbnail. You can see a bit of pixel art, actually, which is pretty damn... Oh, yes, I forgot. But you can go in the coaches. Yeah, that is cool. Because these... <laughs> these coaches, because they have motors, apparently this game thinks that they are... They are tr locomotives. Yeah, as ridiculous as it sounds, it thinks they're locomotives, which just leads to some cursed stuff. Actually, the middle part, which is the where the engine, they don't identify as that as an engine, but if you spawn it in, it just floats on its own, which just looks hilarious. So this is definitely the best locomotive they could have picked for a DMU, or an EMU, or whatever EMU. Quite like the detailing though, because we got the um, 
AWS little thing. But this cap just looks nice. Oh, there's a horn. I'm not saying the 70, you can actually hear the flicker of the light. I don't know where, oh, where the hell do those chemical wagons come from? Are they chemical wagons? I don't know. I think they are. Can't read. Oh, no, that's cement. Oh, the fact that it says more than just cement. No, it tells me otherwise. Oh, yeah, they got blinds! I forgot about those. So we're coming in a little bit fast. Oh, we don't need that anymore. Oh yeah, there's no car stops um, on here, so we can literally just stop at the marker and they'll be fine. But I think we might have a slight issue. We'll leave it there for today. <clears throat> However, as promised, I will show you. I'll put one there. I'll show you. Uh, roots. Roots. Where do we want to go? We'll go back here and we'll go all the way down here. Don't ask what this is. I'll save. No, oh god, why did I create a new session? I'll delete that later. Um, that's what I was doing. Motors. I should have just um, emergency this. That would be brilliant. In fact, where am I? Oh, okay, we're going to explode. Bye, guys. Um... We'll catch up to them. Because, um, this is the S7 hot rod that comes in with the test track, which we will be looking at very soon. But as you can see, this thing accelerates. We're already at 200 miles an hour. Oh, we've just started. Still accelerating. There they are. Also, I just realised, if we continue on going, we're going to reach the end. So, if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. And I've let, I will leave a link to a proper full review in the description for those of you who want to see what it comes with. And with that, everybody, I think I might leave it there. So make sure you do like... You do subscribe. And with that, oh, no. oh no, I ruined it. So make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. But bye for now. Oh my Jesus Christ. Bye and have a great day.